All right, welcome to that Sin Show, man. Today, we got the Behringer Mutator clone, all right? This is a clone from Utronics. And uh, some people did it, Softube did a VST of it. We'll check that out as well. But Behringer's cloning this one. They're asking their people some questions. What do you want to do? What kind of rack mount you want it? But this is a cool, very cool product. It's an analog, or stereo analog effects unit based on technology for the synthesis of the late 60s. We'll get into the nitty gritty in a minute. But let's go, baby, with that Sin Show. Mutator. Right here it is, man. Pretty little thing, as per usual. Looks like they got it in the little Behringer Model D, the Neutron, everything style clone, you know. So what is the Mutator? The Mutator is a stereo analog filter and envelope follower with full control facilities. It contains two independent voltage control filters similar to those found in analog synthesizers, which can be used to treat external sound source. Each filter can be controlled from its own associated low frequency oscillator, LFO for those of us in the business, and or its own envelope follower section, which extracts the envelope contour of an input signal and applies it to control the cutoff frequency of the filter. All right, it's too much. Let's go, man. I can't read all day. All right, let's roll over to Behringer real quick and see what they're saying. All right, well, bam, right from the Behringer site. After reviewing the feedback from our recent posts, it's clear that most people prefer a desktop version of the Mutator instead of the Euro rack. So that's cool. It can also be rack mounted. Advantages it needs less space. Is Euro rack ready and can be 19 inch rack mounted if indeed. All right, so this is the Mutator. Let's just read this real quick. Finalizing the exciting Mutator product and are collaborating closely with the original designer to ensure its authenticity and quality. The Mutator's legendary analog filter envelope follower that gained prominence in the 90s known for its unique ability to transform sound in creative and dynamic ways. It's been a favorite tool for many musicians and producers, offering rich, warm, analog filtering capabilities. You got it? All right. So there was a little bit of controversy because people were like, I'm not working. The original designer is not working with... Uh, Bearings around this, but they seem to have it twisted. Let's roll up here and see what they're saying. We're thrilled to announce the revival of the iconic Mutator in collaboration with its original creator, Nigel Bradbury. The Mutator, a legendary analog filter. We already read that part. Let's go. We're extremely excited about this partnership as Nigel Bradbury is now actively working with us to not only bring back the Mutator, but to also dramatically enhance it with new features. So this is the cool thing about Behringer. They're working with old designers who created these products back in the day. They don't have, they're not in a position to make them anymore. And Behringer's saying, hey man, do you want to come back and revive this? Not only revive it, why don't you revive it with some extra oomph? Add a little more to it. Put the things in you want to now or you would have liked to seen it in the past. That's cool. His expertise and vision are invaluable in ensuring that the new mutator stays true to its roots while offering modern advancements that meet today's musical demands. To share more insights, we've also included an interesting article from Matrix Synth. All right. Stay tuned for more updates. Little known fact, contrary to the information given by Mutronics website, the mutator was conceived, designed, and the first production runs hand built and tested by a British guy called Nigel Bradbury. So if we go over, I got the Mutronics site right here. This is the Mutronics site, main page, nothing crazy, nothing serious. You can go read about it if you want to. I'll throw this down in the links. It gives you a little history of this. But according to Behringer, a Behringer, uh, there's some misinformation on there, all right? Anyway, we'll read this later on, but let's just, we came to check out the sounds. Here's the, let's check out the soft tube. So this is the soft tube version of the mutator we'll listen to this for a couple quick seconds this is from computer music subscribe and like let's just play a little bit of this and hope the scary deodorant lady don't come up Envelope follower, two, two LFOs. Envelope sweep, two cutoffs, two resonance. Tempo sync with, yeah. If you got headphones on, a lot of panning going on there. This is the, this is the soft tube thing, all right? So let's... Let's move on. Great website, great uh, channel. Let's go. We'll put that in the links. You can check that out later on. 
if we go check out the one and only news site for all synthesized news and related electronic product news, you got it. Synth Anatomy. Behringer Mutator Clone, Replica of the Legendary Dual Animated Mutronics. We get a closer look at this beauty. Dual effects phase shifting unit. And let's go down here. We got the back. This is the, the one that they were thinking about doing. I don't think they, they surveyed the community and they voted this one down. So they're going with the, the big one, the 19 incher. All right, this one right here. And I think they got a video down here, do they? No, no video? All right, so let's jump over. We got the Matrix Synth website. Let me make this a little bigger for you. Well, bam, let's check this out real quick. Want some music? Ooh, Matrix Synth, everything synth. The Mutator, the Mutronics Mutator. Nile on AH put up the shot of the inside of the Mutronics Mutator for all you super synth nerds. There's the guts. This is the guts, baby. So why not? Title link takes to the Mutator site with samples and more. Mutator Stereolog Analog Filter. Envelope follower, we already talked about that, but there's the picture, man, there's the inside. Note that the chip in the middle is the SSM2045. I checked Synthtech and Sequencer.de to see what other synths might have used this chip. I only found it on a sequencer for the Sultan SM100 used as a VCA VCF. If you know what else this chip was used for, throw it down in the comments. Huh, okay, so this is where Behringer got their information, contrary, little known fact. It was hand-built and tested by a British guy called Nigel Bradbury, who started Mutronics with London-based studio owner Mark Lusardi in the mid-1990s. With his partner and their newborn daughter remaining in their home, town of Oxford, Nigel worked on the Mutator in London for 50 pounds a week, almost all of which was taken up by rent for his grimy, weekday accommodations and bus transport back home on the weekends. Eventually it became uneconomic and uncomfortable for him to continue spending this much time away from his family. Hmm. And Nigel parted with the company Mutronics with nothing but a secondhand mutator, previously owned by Duran Duran, no less, to show for his hard work and creativity. His part in conceiving and creating what is probably the best analog filter unit available remains unmentioned on the Mutronics website. Ooh, some little controversy. So, looks like we got a little controversy. Mutronics, you're not giving credit to the original, but guess what? Behringer sweeps in and says, hey, Nigel, baby, why don't you come with us? We'll let you revive this product. We'll give you a very good paycheck for it, my friend, to pay for all those years in that grimy apartment in Oxford or wherever it was. And uh, that's that, man. So I'm excited for this. I think there's a big chance that... I will maybe be picking up this mutator. We'll see how much it is. I'm saying 199, maybe 149 for filter bank. Yeah, I'm saying the Synth Samurai price is right guess is 149.99. But we'll see what happens. But that's that Synth show. That's the Behringer Mutator clone. If you want to check it out, go check out Soft Tubes uh, VST of that thing. It sounds cool, but I'm looking forward to the original because I can already imagine myself putting some uh, synthesizers through that sweet, 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 super sweet, 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 filter bank, baby. All right, let's go with that synth show. Slow, slow.